Viper sits high in the sky. Since the turn of the century, the Tell City football team has had only four winning seasons. Now in 2020, amidst the pandemic, it seems the marksmen have found their groove as they are off to a perfect 4-0 start. And they tell our very own Andrew Garcia they won't be slowing down anytime soon. This summer, Mac Webb became the new head coach at Tell City, and due to COVID-19, the marksmen had to do some learning on the fly. It was hard because we obviously lost a month with coronavirus, but uh, you know we just got to keep pushing forward and. We just we just kept working. He's making good plays, making good decisions. He's he's helping us out a lot, and he's he's going to carry us all the way to the championship. Well, I didn't ha really have a roster from their call-out meeting in the spring, so the biggest challenge was was organizationally making sure everything was pinned up, ready to go whenever we were able to start that first day of practice. Um, but after that, it's just it's been a challenge, just like everybody else. Tell City is a perfect 4-0 for the first time in 27 years, and a big reason why is their defense. Through week three, they were the only team in Indiana that had not allowed any points. We didn't get too high-headed about it. Putting up zero points, yeah, it's good, but we didn't get high-headed about it. We we just wanted to keep pushing, making sure our defense is always getting better. And, and I mean, obviously we're going give, to give up some points over the season, but, you know, that's that's not going to affect anything. It's not going to get us down or nothing. We just we just keep playing. It's good for our community. Um, I hear stories from our alumni all the time about how excited they are for Tell City football. So it's just a good thing to get everybody back in for this. You know, it's a tradition-rich program. I mean, it, through the 80s and 90s, um, and so it's really nice to have all the alumni and the whole community supporting back on board with us. That 1992 squad was the last in program history to win a sectional crown, and this year's group believes 2020 is the season to end that drought. So we got a lot of experience, and we just put in a lot of hard work since, obviously, we, we didn't have as much time with coronavirus, but um, with the time that we were given, we've worked as hard as we could, and we just feel like we have the talent. It would mean a lot to win a sectional and to get that far. We, we put in a lot of work and I, I think we would deserve it. Reporting in Tell City, Andrew Garcia, 44 Sports.